Have you lost your cool? Has it been situations when you actually just went off the handle and made the situation worse? And now that you think back about it, you could have done something a little bit different to make the outcome better. Well, this week on Motivation and Confidence, I'm going to tell a story of when one of my kids pissed me off and I went off the handle. Stay tuned. All right, everybody worldwide, you're now tuned into Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best. And I'm your host, Tom Danger. And this week, we're going to talk about losing your cool. And there have been a number of times that I've actually lost my cool. Um, so last week, we talked about building up confidence in the various fights that I got into or the losses that I took that actually helped me build up my confidence. But this week, we're going to switch gears a little bit and talk about times when I lost my temper and thinking back what I should have done to help the situation as opposed to make the situation worse. And just some things that I've learned over time um, through personal experience, through listening to my elders, and actually from going to therapy. And one moment or one story that comes to my mind off the top of my head was one time my oldest daughter, let me take a step back. So you're a parent. And as a parent, you know, we all dread receiving that phone call at two, three, four o'clock in the morning to say that something has happened to your child. And for all the dads out there, especially when you have a daughter, you know, the last thing you want to hear is that your daughter has been in a situation. So uh, one night, my wife's phone kept ringing and she didn't answer her phone, neither here nor there. So then my phone begins to ring and me being the dad that I am, I answer my phone and it is a family member. And the first thing the family member says is, don't be mad, right? So when a person says to you, don't be mad, naturally you become upset because they're about to drop some shit on you that's going to piss you off. And I'm pretty sure you're not calling me at two or three o'clock in the morning to tell me that you hit the lotto and you're going to give me some money or you're going to return something to me that you borrowed from me. No. It just so happened that... My lovely daughter had traveled to another university uh, for a party, and somehow the story went like this. They went to the university, and the girl that drove them there got into a fight with her boyfriend, and somehow they've been banned from the university, and they're sitting with security, and they're four hours away, and they don't have any money to get home. Can you go get them? <laughs> now, I'm not laughing because um, of the situation. I'm laughing at the thought that I should drive four hours to go pick up my daughter for going somewhere that she never told me that she was going to go. Now, technically, she has grown, right? And in the time of millennials, you know, some of you go away to school and you come back and you stay with your parents. And I'm one of those, or we are one of those lucky sets of parents where our kids have come back home after being away at school. Neither here nor there. If you say you're going to be somewhere doing something, then that's what you should be doing. You told us you were going to hang out at your cousin's house and spend the night and so forth. There was no talk of going to a party in another state at another university where you had no business. So my first response was, well, I hope she finds a way home because I ain't going to get her. She ain't had no business being up there. So, um, yeah, that's that. Well, what are we going to do? Are you going to wake your wife up? Uh, Grace, telephone. What do you mean? Because she was asleep. Something happened to, to Moo. Okay, and we reassess the story. And um, I said to my cousin, I said, put her on the phone. Right? And you know your kids, the last thing they want to hear is one of your parents or your dad or your mom 
because I'm about to lay into her. I'm about to lay into her like, you know, you ain't got no business. And I probably just went way off on a tangent because, all right. So again, I was upset. I was extremely upset because, not because she needed help. I was upset at the fact that she was dishonest with me. And dishonesty to me is also just withholding information. If you know that you're going to do something, at least give me the respect of saying, here's where I'm going to be. In case something like that happens, I know how to take action. She didn't do that. So now I'm pissed. Put on the phone. What are you doing? Who told you to go there? Who are you with? Why you? And I'm just laying, 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 laying. And she's like, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. And even at that moment when she said that, I just kept going and going because I'm just in daddy asshole mode, being rough and being unnecessary. Knowing that at the same time, she was probably scared. Um, she's in a state where she doesn't know anybody. She doesn't have any money. You with security in which they're threatening to call police and all this stuff. And you have no means of basically finding a reasonable way to get out of the situation without reaching out to your parents. And in that moment when I should have been like, okay, let's think of what we're going to do to get you home. I just released my anger at the fact that basically my ego was hurt, right? My ego as far as being dad, talking to me, tell me what's going on. You didn't do that. So that's why I felt that way. So again, looking back and I have to speed this up because they're having a party in my neighborhood. Um, Being the smart dad that I am, I make my children pay rent. And because they pay rent, that money is set aside for these moments in which they may mess up. And in doing so, we were able to send some money for a bus ticket in which we had to purchase two tickets because the first address they gave me was the incorrect address. So I purchased tickets and they could didn't find a printer. And it was just the most <sighs> disheartening moment that a parent could go through. But sometimes as parents or as um, just in being in self-control, It's not always good to react to a situation in the moment. It's better to quickly assess what's going on and think of the best course of action to resolve what can potentially be worse for everybody. And that's my story, losing my cool. Hopefully you learned something with it. Thank you for checking us out. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe and share. Uh, Leave anything in the comments. Talk to us about a moment that you lost your cool and what did you do to overcome that situation? This is Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best. Thank you for tuning in to Motivation and Confidence, where we help you do your daily best. Like, subscribe, or leave a comment. Check us out on various platforms, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Play, Overcast, CastBox, SoundCloud, YouTube, iTunes, TuneIn, or Alexa Media. Would you like to be featured as a guest? Or do you have a topic that you would like to have featured on Motivation and Confidence? Send us an email to TommyDanger at gmail.com. That's T-O-M-M-Y-D-A-N-G-E-R at gmail.com. Do you have an idea that you'd like to get started, but you don't know where to start? Check out the book, Motivation and Confidence, written by Tom Danger. The Seven Steps, How to Start Your Ideas. Visit www.tomdanger.com. That's T-O-M-D-A-N-G-E-R.com.